Hey guys, Vex here, and welcome back to Magecraft. Now, you might know some cute little guys out there. That's right, we've got some chocolate. I think I've got a male and a female. I'm pretty sure the males have got the long tails and the females have got the short. But I haven't really checked. That's sort of going to be one of the first things we do today. I've got a lot planned today, two chests worth. But let's get through them as quick as we can. Now, the first thing I'm going to make is the Chocopedia. Uh, you use this, like this recipe right here, uh, you can see it right there. You get chocobo feathers from chocobos, they drop them after a while. It's kind of like um, eggs for chickens, but instead mm. they just kind of drop feathers behind them, or you can kill them to get them if you like. Now, I've got this, you know, I remember our Philosopher's Stone? We can do this. Yes, that's right, we can open up our special little inventory. Now, if I remember the recipe, which I just completely forgot after I viewed it, it was lapis at the bottom, book in the middle, these two ink sacks on either mm. side, and a gold mine in the top. And we get ourselves a Chocopedia. Now let's go check out. Does this book open? Ah, oh, it does. Look at that. I believe it's got some stuff in there, but you can also, if I remember correctly, oh, just open the book using that. That's going to happen every time we open something. Oh, not that far. Okay. See, there's a feather on the ground for one of them, dropping them. Now, if I believe if we right-click them on them with the book, yep, we get our names. It's a female, Coco, with 30 health. Cool. And then let's see ourselves over here. This should be a male because of the big tail feathers, but I might be wrong on that. Nope, it's another female, Noir. She's got... Oh, that's right, I put... I put... Yeah. Hey, let's get a feather that will do. Oops, that's going to make her follow. Uh, not what I wanted. Okay, let's use that. And look, I put a cell on a... Yay. And you just press left shift to get off the like. It's so... It wasn't so laggy. Um, so I've got two females. I'll hunt down a male for us and put him in here to breed. They'll stay still if you... They sort of won't follow you if you, you use the chocolate feather on them. So she's still following. There you go. She should be staying still now. Or she might be in the following room. No. Yep, she's staying still. Good. But yeah, that's that's just a little bit of chocolate. See, she just dropped a feather. I'll pick that up later if I remember. And I've just got a little nice thing here. You, you, you tame them with Gisal Greens, which can be found in the wild. You can also turn a Gisal Green into Gisal or Gisal Seeds by putting it in your crafting bench. Um, next up, what have we got? Uh, I'll look into chocolate craft later, and I'll do some more when we go some exploring, we'll get some chocolates and stuff. Ah, uh, next was the Thorn Mom, uh, these things, which I did some research on. Now, these are very nice. See that recipe there? It's got two thermometers to it. I'll show you what we make with those. We gotta chuck this into our little thing. Now, um, also... Have I done it yet? No, it's that's one of the other things we're going to do today. Don't worry, I'm just ahead of myself here. Let's chuck these in like this. You might sort of figure out what the recipe, what it is from the recipe, just just how it looks in the recipe thing. And we get ourselves some goggles revealing. See, we've got these things here. That's how much it costs in viz from the wand. And we get ourselves some goggles of revealing. These also the have a visc v, a vi discount. I think it's pronounced vi discount. And not only that, but they let us see nodes, so they are good for that sort of thing. Also, I've got a. I'm going to make an armor stand here. I've got an armor stand here for our witchery stuff when we start doing those. I'll make another one. I just didn't have the iron ready for. I'll show you in a bit. Um, for for a reason. Um, I think that's all we'll do right now downstairs. Wait, what was this for? Ah, yes, this is that's the, the gauge thing. That's all right, we'll worry about that. Now, I've done a whole bunch of uh, Flaxbeard Steam Power while I've been, I've spent like the better part of the weekend um, doing this. And as you can see, I've got a lot of things set up. Now we've got ourselves a tool rack up here with a wrench in it. And as you can see, when you hold the wrench, you can see the stuff. That's hidden in blocks. That's right. If you shift right click with a block on one of the normal pipes, you can't do it on the ones with the the thingies. You can actually hide them in a block. Let's see, bam! It's actually hidden in there. 
pretty cool, huh? And this is a charging station. You can see my drill here, my steam drill. You can charge it up and start spinning, and it's uh, used for um, mining. But it's not. The unfortunate thing is, at its best spin up, it's only as good as like say an iron pick, and at its worst, it pretty much mines like a wooden pick. It does. However, when it's run out, it can still mine um, stuff like uh, redstone and diamonds and things. Um, even while spun down, it's just going to take a while. But you can, I've built a little charging station here. And you just, uh, let's see, I'll put it in the thermometer. See, it's a steam filler. And you just right click it in here. And bam, you've got itself filling up. Um, basically, a lot of this stuff is just made with brass in this crucible, like I showed you. You chuck in. One zinc, three copper. Did I do that last episode? I can't remember. I can't remember for life me. It's been too long. I've been fiddling around too, way, way too much. But yeah, you basically put one zinc, three copper in their um, bars, that is, and then um, you can pour them into the mold. Now, one of the things I figured out was this mold here, the plate mold, not the ingot mold, is actually much more efficient for a lot of these mold, a lot of these recipes because out of um, two zinc and six copper, you actually get 12 plates, whereas ingots you only get eight. So it's really, really efficient for making the flax beard recipes. Um, the pipes are basically six six ingots or six plates, so you can sort of see where that's going from and a lot of these things. Now this here is a steam heater. What this does is lets you your furnace work without fuel. Um, let's see, have I got anything to burn in here? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. I'll, I'll just get a bit of clay. We'll do that. We'll do a bit of clay. I, I don't want to smelt those up, these up for a reason, and I'll show you, I'll show you that in a second. Actually, let's do that first, shall we? Yeah, that would be better. Um, now I've got some here. What do I do? What we'll grab, grab this gold, why not? Gold will do. We don't really need it for anything right now, but see this? This is, these are our rock smashers. Now what you do is you right click in between and you can hear that nice noise and it's turned it into smash gold ore. Sometimes you get two instead of one. That's kind of the thing. It may maybe give you a maybe an extra. It's not quite as efficient as say using a, 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 a smeltery and Tinker's Construct or something like that. No. Wouldn't mind Tinker's Construct, except I think I'm a bit over it. I've seen it being done so many times, it's boring, so I didn't want to really do that. Um, but yeah, you can just chuck it down, and bam, and now we've got four. Oh, look at that, it's given us double every time. Oh, let's see, let's look at it. Look, see, that only gave us one. Apparently it's one in four by default, but you can change it in the con config be more than that and I don't think I'd change it. I, I kind of like the one in four and then you take this and see we've got no fuel here and chuck that in and it should start smelting it up look at that how cool is that now basically this is done with these steam boilers at the moment I don't have any fuel in them but basically you just chuck coal in um, because I didn't want them to overload uh, it was getting a bit high on the steam pressure, but as you as it basically uses the coal to boil the water into steam, then that steam fills the system, and you make these tanks, which don't normally have these gauges on. You've got to make these gauges separate and then chuck them on or whatever you want. I just like to chuck them on the, the tanks so you just see what's going on. Um, these basically hold more steam, so you've got a lot of sort of steam things. The biggest thing that's the trouble with these is some of the um, things just don't tell you where you can plug them in, like these uh, rock smashes, I had them initially plugged in over here and they just weren't working and then I figured out that you have to plug them into the back like this and yeah and then the this thing, if you look underneath it sort of plugs in from underneath, it took me forever to figure that out and I had stuff here initially and I just kind of figured out I wanted it over here because Here's the really neat thing here, you've got these Archimedes screws, right? Uh, do I have... Where do I have the steam coming in for those? I think it's just over the back here somewhere, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can jump up. I think it's just... I don't know, maybe they're just getting the power directly from the boiler. I can't remember for the life of me. Or, no, rather, the tanks. It just comes directly from the tanks. Are these Archimedes screws in the back here? 
they take water source blocks that are um, next to them, that is that one and that one, and fills whatever containers on the other end, which is these steam boilers. And it's really handy because I spent uh, ages trying to fill up things with buckets and buckets are not efficient at all. It's kind of ridiculous how many buckets you need to fill up these, but with these Archimedes screws, it's kind of a self-propelling system. You just kind of put a bit of water in there, maybe you need to fill it up with a couple of buckets eventually, and then you just, um, it just kind of keeps itself going, especially with these steam tanks here, they hold a nice amount. As you can see, this is kind of my um, let out valve in case the pressure gets too high. You can build things like steam whistles and rupture discs in case you sort of build a crazy ass system, but since my system's very basic and it's not, I decided to take the coal out so it didn't actually cause the system to overload, it's alright. Um, the other thing I've built, I think that's it for up here, you can see this here, This we'll talk about this later, there's a nice book you can make for it, um, which is very simple, it's basically a book with a zinc ore and a copper ore and that gets you the steam, steam innovations, um, esteemed innovations book, which is pretty cool. And everything in this is really easy to make. It's all—it's basically all brass, and it's all what you think. The boiler is basically like a furnace surrounded by brass, and the brass tanks and the tanks are like just a circle of brass. It's like a chest made of brass, and um, the pipes are like three and th three on the top, three on the bottom, and with the middle empty. And then you put one in with a lever, and it gives you one of these. It's really, really simple. In fact, it's kind of too simple. I'm kind of bored with it now except for one thing which we might try out which I'll show you later it's a bit more complicated but it's just like a whole bunch of brass and nothing else it's it's kind of boring but yeah um I, I've got a couple of things here which we might do later I thought let's do some witchery yeah let's do some witchery yeah. I've got some things set up here uh first thing I wanted to show you was actually how to make me tenders clear up our inventory space a little bit. I might chuck these two books here in the shelf. I really love, oops, the shift, no, just not close enough. Oh, the, so the Chocopedia doesn't count as a book. Oh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. That might have to be fixed somehow. So I'll just chuck it in my personal chest for about that. I'll chuck the pipe wrench in there right, well, right from now as well. Um, Oh, spider outside somewhere. But yeah, I'll show you how to make Utandus. Now this is kind of the basic thing for witchery to get started on the next lot. You know how to um, collect fumes, I showed you that, didn't I? Um, I've got a reek of misfortune. Oh, cool. I made this uh, little potion shelf, which can hold these. So you just chuck them up there and bam, you've got these things. Um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you take water, you fill up your witch's cauldron, which I showed you how to make, and then you chuck in mandrake root, like so, exhale of the horned one, and then an egg, and just watch it. This is really cool. Look at it, it's spinning around, it's spitting out, and then give it us a few seconds and bam mutandus now what you do with mutandus is uh, i think we might go to sleep first because we want to use it on some brass i can't rest there's a spider nearby well whatever we've got our axe we'll use our axe if we have to so make sure we get away and as you can see there might be some unusual trees here this is if i remember right this is our, an older tree. Now I haven't scanned this actually. It's not, it doesn't give you anything too special, but it's always worth scanning or something. And we've got some spruce trees. Oh, I haven't scanned spruce leaves. Interesting. Uh, have I scanned a spruce log? Yeah, I have scanned, but I just haven't scanned the leaves. Now I've got an older tree, which is made with mutandus. And I believe this is another tree over here. I think this is... Is this another older? Oh, it's acacia. This is one of the basic ones, I believe, from uh, Minecraft. This is one of the new ones in one of the latest patches, which I think is actually 1.7 patch. But yeah, I need to... It's a short right. But yeah, you can see we've got uh, some shiver leaf who's grown underneath the tree. But um, yeah, we've got some hawthorn and we've got some alder. Um, I've got 
jungle tree now. See jungle tree. How cool is that? It's gonna make some vines, I hope. I don't know. I don't think it probably will, which is I'll have to go searching for some vines. Or we can use our mutandus and hope we get some. Um I will, however, need a pair of shears, which I hopefully still have somewhere. I believe it's in this chest. Did I chuck them in here? Did I chuck them in here? Oh, they might be down somewhere else. Are they in here? I have no idea where I put them. Oh. Where did I put those shears? The work chest? Oh, they, must, they must be down at the at the thingy, because I don't remember. Uh, we'll make some more, we'll make some more. We're gonna need these, so I'm sorry if this is taking a little bit, but I believe. Have we got any iron? We don't have any iron. Oh, I know where the iron is. I was gonna use it to show you the rock smash, and I never really go around to it. Let's just steal these ones for now. We just need two. Um, and then we'll Chuck those in. Shears, pair of shears. We're gonna need these. Let's see if I can sleep now. No, nope. still monsters nearby. Great. Lovely. Bloody monsters. I gotta fix that little problem. Maybe I'll move the bed upstairs. I don't know. Maybe I'll move. I'll make it third level, and then we'll um, do that. But yeah, with mutandus, you basically find grass or a plant or anything and then you just right click on it with it and bam it transforms it into something else. This is how you get the older saplings, the uh, the hawthorn saplings and so on. And since I don't need any more older saplings, I'll just right click on it again. What'd I get? What'd I get? Hawthorn sapling. I might need that, so I'm just gonna leave that one there. You can pick it up like a normal sapling. We need what we're looking for, however is Spanish moss. Ah, there's a zombie. Let's kill this zombie real quick. Yeah, yeah, he wants a hunter. That's... It's weird. The, the achievements are popping up really weirdly. I don't know what's going on. Like, I got time to mine furnace and stuff way after I got it. I just had to do it the second time. So I don't know what's going on. It's not like it's resetting. Oh, we actually got an iron sword from that, did we? Oh, cool. That's nice. I'm going to use this until it dies. But yeah, uh, hang on. We need to mutate. Oh, I think. Let's have a look. Spanish moss. Oh, it took me like two stacks. Oops. We've got to be very careful not to break the Spanish moss though, because it can only be picked up with shears. And there we go. Now we've got ourselves some Spanish moss. What I'm gonna do with this, it's basically it basically acts like vines. Um, I'm gonna put it up on there. Now to do that, we'll go inside. I'll go. I'll make sure I don't have it in my hand so I don't accidentally place it down. What I'll do is I'll go up on top of the house and then I'll place it very carefully. Uh, just here, and let, let it that grow, and then we'll come back and harvest it. Um, Basically, that's how you do it. You just kind of plant it there and let it harvest. Um, but yeah, that's that's really lucky. Yeah, that's the one we needed. We also need some rowan wood for one of the things I want to do. So we've still got three left. Um, we'll go and do that. So oh, I double clicked on that. Oh. Let's see if we can't get myself some rowan trees. Let's right click on this. That doesn't look like a note. It's an acacia sapling. We don't need that. And a poppy. Well. That didn't help us. Uh, hang on, need some food. Need some food. Unfortunately, that didn't help us too much. Um, but that's all right. We got some, we got one thing at least. We got the Spanish moss, which is really cool. That's going to grow down a bit. Um, but yeah, now you can see. Uh, oh, that's right. That level wasn't up there before, was it? Well, there you go. There's something else for you. Uh, we could make some more mutandus, but I think that'll do for now. At least we've got some Spanish moss out of it. I wanted rowan wood, so a rowan sapling, so I could use it to make this, which is an attuned stone. Um, we need that for certain things. Hang on, I need this here. Uh, one of the other things, I've got a couple of these books here that I wanted to make for you. Um, so we'll just grab these. Uh, but we'll just make this one first. And what I really like is the Philosopher's Stone crafting grid. 
really handy. So we'll grab our book, our ink sack, our feather, our breath of the goddess, and our Peladonna flower. And this will make us a distilling book. This will tell us how to distill things. Uh, we need an altar, etc. But this is fine. We don't need to worry about this stuff yet. But I just wanted to show you how to make it. Um, we'll make a distillery soon enough. I don't. Oh, that's right, I've got a distillery set up here, but it needs an attuned stone. That was the only thing. Um, let's just chuck this back up. Let's chuck this up in here. Now we've got another book to go, which is wood ash, which you get from collecting fumes. And these, so we'll go back to the crafting grid. Let's chuck that in. Ink sack, feather, of course. Uh, it was the flint and steel on the bottom and the wood ash on the top, and now we get conjuration fetishes. I believe this lets us conjure stuff with a brazier. Um, summon spectres and stuff like that. Graveyards, it's very deathly, and you can summon death, and you can make fetishes and all kinds of crazy stuff. I just thought I'd make it that one because it's an easy one to make. Um, there's some really good ones, but for the, the next ones we need... Um, for circle magic, we basically need an ent, and to get, get an ent to spawn, you need to cut down a lot of witchery trees, which I haven't done yet, I've only just sort of spawned those ones in, and not spawned them in, like, grown them, so, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, unfortunately we can't do much else, but we can do this bit, this little bit here, we've got our weak blood orb, um, but basically we chuck an iron sword in there. A uh, fresh iron sword, and I believe that's going to work after f after a few seconds. Let's see if that works. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I've got some in the. Um, I've got enough in there. I think current essence. Yeah, we've got four thousand essence in there. Either I need to chuck the weak blood orb in as well. No. No. Maybe I just need to prick myself with the sacrificial knife. Let's do that. Is that getting absorbed? I can't tell. Because that's the recipe for the dagger of sacrifice. Oh, we need it here to alter. Aha. Let's look at the altar. That's what's going wrong. We need a tier 2 altar. I'm not sure how to upgrade the altar though. Um, recipe. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's obviously I need to do a little bit of more research on that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's get that out and get that sorted out. I think you can shift right click and it comes down. Is right click. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought I had what it takes. We had enough um, stuff. I'll just chuck the blood orb in. That'll absorb all that that blood there. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, let's let's um to make yeah to make me tan this. One of the things I have to say: make sure you fill up the cauldron completely. Otherwise, it just won't work. Um, you just won't have the water for it. Um, all right. There's a few things I wanted to show you for... Aha! Uh, I wanted to make a new wand. Let's make a new wand quickly. That's not going to take too long. I've done the research. Basically, you do the research in the thing. I think I've got a research in here for us to do. Was it a simple research in here? Yes. The met magic metallurgy. Now, I, I don't believe I showed you exactly how to do it. But see, I've um, done the research expertise one, which lets us use these. It basically tells us what's in and what we're doing. So that's got Terra and uh, Vitreus. So we'll just chuck Vitreus there because this leads to more things. Uh, Precantatio is Potentia, which is perfect because Potentia has auto in it. Now that has auto in it, that has auto in it. And so we just go very simply, bam. And that's our research. We made just go discovery for magic metallurgy. I basically just right click on that. And it pops itself into our Thormonomicon. Now we know how to make magic metals. Now I'll probably get started on the Crucible stuff 
in the next episode. It's a little bit complicated, but it's really cool. Um, I got my sword ready because I know there's a friggin' spider about to attack me. I just know there is. Is he down here? Is this why I can't get into the... I thought I lit that place up. There's no... No monsters here. Why can't I sleep? I can hear that spider, but I just don't know where he is. I don't think he's down in the wire. That's too far away. Um, but anyway, yes, you can see I've got some guitar greens. Or guitar greens or whatever they are. Growing. So, yeah. Oh, there he is. Bloody spider. Chasing me. Oh, that was, gave me a fright. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's head into our little area. Oh, I don't remember if... Yeah, it wouldn't have had this fence. I put up this nice fence around here, but I haven't actually done much in here. I've got a few things set up for us, I think I did. Yeah, I did two more of these, so we've got some more mana. I think I left what I wanted to do up at the base. Oh, I, I completely forgot we were making a wand. Oh, man. I got distracted so badly. Well, whatever. We'll head back up, because we need to get stuff in here. And we got rid of that spider, which is good. But yeah, alright. Let's go and make ourselves a wand. Now what you do is you make a wand cap. I've got a golden nugget. Um, I'll grab out the Thormonomicon. Grab out the Thormonomicon. Now what I've done is I've researched golden wand caps, which is under Thaumaturgy. And we researched golden wand caps, which is really easy. They're very simple. Very, very simple. Mm. And I can also make copper ones thanks to the inclusion of, um, of, of thorn beard, uh, black beards. So let's put these in. Basically, you make some wand caps like so. They require a little bit of essentia, which we mean means we might need to charge this up at some point soon. But we probably won't because I'll be able to make a new wand. And now we take these great wood logs, which I went out and cut down. I cut down. A big old tree of them, and we'll make ourselves a great wood rod. Take the great wood rod, stick our gold caps on either end of it, and we get ourselves... Okay, <laughs> we don't have enough air. Let's take our wand out, and we'll go charge up some of the air, if I can find some. Um, chuck the Thormonomicon back in here, and meanwhile, let's take some Gisal Greens with us, in case we run into a male Chocobo. Just in case. They're, they spawn a bit further out because I kind of added the world a bit late, the, the more a bit late. But we'll see if we can't find at least, since we're wearing our goals of revealing, we should easily be able to see any nodes that are nearby. So, normally you have to look through this thing, which is really frustrating. But let's see if we can't find a node. I know there was a dark one around somewhere. I think I broke it. Um... But yeah, let's see if we can find. It looks like there's. Yeah, this is where the dark one I was, I think. I um, broke that one because it was just going to make nasty stuff, and you don't want nasty stuff. Plus, I got some obsidian tiles and things out of it. Um, normally, they shine up pretty bright, so this is kind of. Yeah, this is a little bit annoying. Sorry about the lag there. Let's see if we can't see one. Oh, they, they do shine up pretty bright. Uh, now we're in a hole. Lovely. Mm. And it's getting dark. Oh, oh that's alright. Oh, frame rate just came up. Let's see if we can't find... Uh, we do need some wool, so we'll kill this sheep while we're here. I know, I know I should shear it, but I've got the shears on me. <laughs> well, isn't that lucky? Lucky for you, sheep. I want to find a node. There should be a node around here somewhere, surely. Oh, there's a chocobo over here. There's a chocobo. Is it a male or a female? Oh, they're both females, I'm pretty sure. That's a female. And that's a female. So they're both females. That, oh, that's a male. You can tell because he's got the bright crest. Fantastic. Let's tame, tame this fellow. Come on. There we go. We'll get a feather and tell him to follow. Come on. Better get home before it gets too dark. 
there's another feather over there. I don't know how many feathers you sort of need. You should be following. Yep, he's right behind me. Look at that. Crazy behind me. It's a shame we couldn't find a node that quickly, mm. but, um... You know, oh, there's another... Sheep. We do need a lot of wool for, for what I've got planned for the next mm. few episodes, but uh, we should be alright. I hope he's still following. Yep, that's good. I believe the house is this way. Mm. I'm kind of. I wish I installed a minimap mod, but that would be kind of be pretty laggy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, mm. oh, he's lost, isn't he? Bloody hell! Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's quickly get back home because oh, that's a spider. Oops! I attacked him. Let's get this shit. That's because that's the zombie that's going to attack me, I can tell. Oh, it's an angry zombie. Whoops. I'm sorry. There we go. I think you should be happier. And we're getting very low on health. Which isn't normally a problem, but... Oh, there we go. There's some lights. Let's get going, shall we? Come oh, on, friend. Which wouldn't normally be a problem because I've got it set on keep inventory because I don't have. I don't want to do all that running back if something gets lost. Um. Right. Sorry about that, just zombie. Zombies, you know how. Oh, there's another zombie. Stop! Stop attacking these zombies, jeez. Alright. Come on, Chocobo. You're just here. There you are. Let's cut down this fence. Get him inside. Hopefully nothing attacks me while I'm doing this. Come on, friend. Come on in. I will just right-click him with a feather to put him to stay. You don't really need the fence up around them. I just put that up there because it, it looks nice and it sort of keeps them. But they pretty much stay where they are, you know. Which is pretty cool. Let's get inside. Or another zombie attacks you. Um, yeah, it's a shame we couldn't find a node. Because we really need. I swear there must be a hole. Oh, don't tell me this guy's upstairs. It's just, in my ears, it sounds like they're really close. Oh, this lag is such. so laggy. Yeah, that sounds really, really close, but it can't be, because there's no way for them to hide. Except outside. Um, one thing about this transmutation table I've set up, it's kind of a bit buggy and can crash your game, so be careful with that. There's a zombie at my door. There's a zombie at the door. La 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 la. <laughs> um... But yeah, what was I doing? Oh, completely lost my train of thought. Let's chuck these in here. Let's, let's, I can't get to bed because these guys are here. Oh, now they're... Let's use shears on these guys. Let's shear them to death. Sorry about this. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. That's it. Close the door. Thankfully, since I think it's been playing an easy mode, they don't break down doors, but that's still real. There's another one! Look at all these zombies in my blood room or something. What's going on? Um, oh yeah, so we wanted to charge up our wand, didn't we? Well, oh, that's gonna be a tricky. I wonder if it, it kind of seems to be charging up naturally. That's cool. Ah, yeah, it has. So we'll make ourselves a gold banded great wood one. That's going to replace this pretty much completely. We'll only need this one now, so we'll keep this one on us. That'd be cool. And I suppose while I've got the zombies at the door, we'll get making these things. Uh, we're going to make some food tonight. Grab these brass nuggets. 
That's not the actual recipe, by the way. That's just how I want it. But I'll, I will, however, make the like this because I'll. Find All right, let's go upstairs and get away from these. Things. Um, I haven't built a roof yet either. But yeah, let's just use the normal crafting bench here. Um, what I need to make? Oh, we need to make some iron. Oh, let's use our handy dandy rock smashers until I get four. I need four for this. How many did we get? One. It's very nice sounding, isn't it? It's really nice sounding. There's a few things I need to make in this mod still, but it's not as many as I would like. There we go. Three. And four. I'll chuck those. Smashed iron ore in there. Take gold out. Just chuck them both in here. My inventory is getting all messy now. Really, really messy. Anyway, um, so once that's smelted up, we'll be able to make this. Next, we'll, while that's smelting up, we'll make these. Uh, what you want? You need a piston. I hope you know how to make a piston. Pistons are basic, basic Minecraft things. They're, they're pretty easy. Um, very simple to make. You just need an iron. And you take these plates, which you make, which I showed you before, and you can get brass pistons. Now these aren't used like normal pistons, they are used for some of these recipes. I believe the Rock Smash is used a couple, and it's used for making this, which I think we'll chuck it on. Nah, it should swap it. Steam Exosuit Headpiece, that's right, we're making, use this armor table here, which isn't helping with that. Um, did I put them in the hungry chest? Yeah, I've got stuff in the hungry chest. We'll just chuck these in here for now. I don't remember what I was making. I think I was making the chest piece. So we'll go look that up. The exosuit chest piece. Which needs three blast brass plates, a steam gauge, two brass nuggets, and two of these pistons. That's what I was doing. So we need brass nugget, brass nugget, I believe. Was that it? Ah, no. Other way. And Bam, bam, bam. You know, you might be saying, where's the steam gauge? Ah, oh, that's what we needed the iron for. Uh, that should be done now. Yep. Unfortunately, you can't use iron plates for this, or I would just chuck these in there and make iron plates. Um, let's grab our Philosopher's Stone, because why not? Basically, you just make a compass, which is another vanilla recipe, which is like so. You take the compass, and you surround it, well, surround it, you basically put brass nuggets around it, and then that makes a steam gauge, and that's how you make those ones I've got over there. That's kind of what I'm going to make the exosuit. It takes all the bits and makes them really complicated, but it's, just, it's basically a, a lot of brass. So we'll just take this, and then you chuck that, there, which we need to actually use in our crafting bench. So we'll craft that up. And then we're almost done for this episode. Uh, there's one last thing I want to show you after I make this. So we'll take this and we've got our Steam Exosuit chest piece. It doesn't have anything on it yet, no modules. There's a bunch of modules you can make for it. Um, but basically I'll just chuck that on the armor stand here and you can see it's a nice little Exosuit. Now that it's daytime and the zombies are dead, uh, I'll make sure I've got a weapon on me anyway. Just throw me in a max because why not? Let's get that ready. Get that ready. Even though it's laggy and my mouse wheel is not really doing it. There we go. Now let's go down. Oops, I almost forgot to grab the ingredients. Oh, that would have been bad. As you can see here, this is the recipe. A man and diamond, which is basically just take a diamond and chuck it in the manacle. Five living rock, which we know how to make. And we'll take it down to our Batania area. So as my computer lag is making it impossible to get down there. Let's get in there. And as you can see I've made some more living rock. But basically you just take this, chuck it in your crafting bench. Yes, I have even though I have my philosopher's stone, I've still got crafting benches everywhere just in case. You take your mana diamond, like so. Stick these around it, 
and you get yourself a runic altar. This is one of the like billions of altars we need in this mod pack. Um, basically, we'll chuck it down somewhere near the mana spreader. Uh, not that it'll connect to it, but we'll chuck it down here. Now what you can do is chuck stuff in here to make runes. Now I'm not too sure on how to make runes yet. I know you use a bunch of petals and things. And it can make some really cool stuff. But I thought I'd at least just show you how to make this. And I'll show you how what to do with it next episode. Ooh, we just got some matter. And you might notice a few weeds, a few, few interesting weeds popping up. We've got our glint weed and our fire weed. Now this you need uh, shears for, it'll break otherwise. And this, you can just break it. It'll break. I think you can turn it into... I can't remember. I can't remember what this is for. But yeah, it, it exists. It's one of the... It's either Thorncraft or Witchery. I can't remember which. I'm pretty sure it's Thorncraft. But, and that's Witchery. But I can't remember. I can't remember. And this is some enchanted soil we've got. Look at that. Can I scan it? I can't remember. No, I can't remember. Did I scan these? I didn't scan the ammo boss. Ah, oh, that's because you can't. Glintweed? Pretty sure you can. No? Okay. So they must be both from, um, from, um, witchery then. I can, I can, I could scan the mana pool, couldn't I? No. Can't scan the mana spreader either. Oh, I can scan the mana spreader. Runic altar? Ah, doesn't know what to do with that. Um, Okay, I think that's about it for today, um, Hedge Wizards. So, what are you doing up there, pig? Silly pig. Silly, silly pig. But I think that'll do for this episode's um, guys. So, I'll just head up to the house, where it's nice and safe, because I feel like it's vulnerable out here, even though I shouldn't. It's my own friggin' backyard. But yeah, uh, I need to plug up that hole. There's a few holes I still need to fill in just to make it look good but now we've got so now we've got a chocobo and a new one and all kinds of cool stuff i uh, still need some rowan wood but i think next episode we'll start making some armor and stuff uh, the rest of this set for our via discount uh which takes a lot of wool that's why i was gathering all that wool it takes a lot of wool and string and the witchery set which is going to take um a lot of crazy stuff. The witch's outfit is really cool, but it's really hard to make. Uh, the exosuit, it's complicated, but you just need a lot, a lot of brass. That's pretty much it. And I haven't looked at too much of Chocopedia. Uh, actually, if we look here, Choco. I'll put an at. At Choco. That should show us. We've got straw, which you can make with that, which I'm not sure what that's for. Gisal stems, purple chocobo eggs. Is that a recipe? Choco disguised legs. I don't know what. Okay. Choco disguised body. So you can disguise yourself with chocobo. Is the chocobo whistle? That's pretty cool. Gisal pickles. How do you make those? How you smelt them up? And it gives all raw pickles. So how do you make raw pickles? Sugar and a gisal green makes you some gisal pickles. That's cool. And you can make get chocobo legs, chocobo pack bags. Cool. Love early gisal. I think that's how you breed. Uh, but it doesn't seem to have a recipe. There's a golden gisal. I think you just grow those. I'm not 100 percent sure. There's a chuck gisal cake. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. And the Chocopedia has a bunch of stuff in it, so now you know how to craft one of those, you can have a look at that for yourself. But um wow, I've been rambling on for way too long this episode, I think. But yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if there's anything you want me to cover, let me know. If you think there's things you don't want me to cover, even just let me know. But as soon as the episodes go on, well, I'll have to explain less and less because the basics will have been explained. Um, but yeah, I think this episode is probably going to be split in two parts. So if this is the second half of it, then I'm sorry, but that's just me rambling. 
But um, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please, please uh, like this video. The more likes I get, the more random people will see this video. So the more people will join my channel and then the bigger I'll get and the more people will like my videos. And it'll sort of sustain itself a little bit, which would be really cool because at the moment it's just kind of... I'm only getting like a couple of likes and about seven or eight views within the first couple of days, which is not bad considering I've only been going, what, less than a month, but, you know, I want to get going and hopefully get some random people who don't know me at all, like, personally, and have never met me, you know, watching this stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and bye!